Macca's Guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Mackie here, continuing with our Crash Bandicoot playthrough, and in this video I'll take you through the main storyline mission, Out for Launch. This one is going to introduce a new mechanic where you can kind of alternate gravity, and although this level itself isn't too difficult, there is, uh, this mechanic becomes more difficult as more and more levels adapt it. So, as we kind of continue through this, uh, outer space area, on the map, the levels will get a little bit more difficult, but not too, too bad. There's one enemy type that is really annoying, though, but you should be good to go. In my opinion, this one's not too bad. As always, I will show you all the gems. I'll show you the hidden uh, I'll show you the hidden gem. I'll show you all the crates. I'll show you at least 80% of the Wumpa Fruit. And if you minimize your deaths to three or less, you'll get the last gem. Zero, and, zero deaths, and you will get the perfect relic. Additionally, right here after this elevator ride up and to the left before jumping across, make sure you grab that beautiful hidden gem before continuing on. Now this is one of the new enemy types sitting in the door and the biggest mistake you can make is trying to double jump into them. Only single jump into them or else you will often hit the roof and then fall right into the electricity. So again, single jump into them. Now there is also another enemy type which is kind of the ice gun guy. I really dislike that enemy type, you'll see him coming up here in a little bit. But at this checkpoint we are at 49 out of 189 and there's a whole bunch of gravity shifting to go. But it's all 2D platforming so in my opinion it isn't too too bad. At this checkpoint, we're at 65 out of 189 before getting the mask and grinding across the rail. Also, make sure you're grabbing the same nitro boxes as me, which is pretty much none. I'm avoiding them at all costs, so that might change your total of boxes comparative to mine if you do have more than me. Now at this point I edited the run but you can grab the flashback tape if you haven't died yet and you'll be introduced to this ice gun enemy which I really hate. The best thing to do is to try to bait them to shoot at you and as soon as they shoot at you dodge the bullet and grab them. Go around the corner and after this you should be able to get into the bonus area with 101 crates and then grab all 36 inside the bonus area which isn't too bad but you have to be a little bit specific with how you do it.
We'll come out of the bonus area with 137, and after this checkpoint, 138. And I believe this checkpoint right here is probably the hardest one in the level. The ice gun guy will have to be dodged quite aggressively. So again, I try to bait them when I can and then take them out. This jump right here, in my opinion, is kind of a little bit luck-based, which is unfortunate. But if you do it right, that's what it will look like. Grab this electricity guy, immediately drop down and kill the ice gun guy. You can always come back for that crate if you missed it, so don't worry about it. And then again, we'll have to kind of do this in a specific order. You might have to use that nitro. That nitro did blow up, so if yours didn't blow up, you will have a slightly different crate count than mine. I usually end up here with 142, but you might have 143 if the nitro broke like on my screen. From here on out, the finish of the level is actually pretty easy. Just watch out for a couple more ice dudes and watch out for the electricity dudes. Blow up the nitro at the end and hopefully you are good to go. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to drop a like, share this video with a friend, and hopefully I see you in more Crash Bandicoot 4 videos. Peace.